If you are a real estate agent using KB Core, then you, my friend, have clicked on the right video because today I'm gonna show you how I use Canva Smart Mockups to make my KB Core landing pages look so much better. Trust me. So today I'm gonna show you how I made this landing page right here which is for other real estate agents but the same principles apply so first i need to go to canva we're gonna go to the dashboard here and we are going to go to the app section we're gonna hit on smart mockups and this is where we are going to be creating the background now in this case depending on what your lead magnet looks like this could be a picture of your pdf as is mine so in this case we are going to be using i'm going to use this one here but you have an array of different smart mockups you can use with canva you have a bunch of these different desktop ones that you can scroll through and the laptops as well just be mindful of which ones are pro this one is pro this one is free but in this case i'm just going to use this one because i like it the best now in this case i clicked on it and then let me just make sure that i am not in the way here select this and then you can upload the image of what your lead magnet looks like, which I've already done, and it is right here. So I'm going to upload. Sorry, <laughs> I already did that. I'm going to select this and select down here. And then what we can do is we can adjust the image ever so slightly. So let me just make sure that this looks like that. And I'm going to just click save. All right, so in this case, we are just gonna hit the save mockup. And then what it's going to allow you to do is to either use this in a design or you can just download it. In this case, I'm just going to download this directly to my computer and this is what it would look like when you open it. All right. Now, next up, we got to go to KB Core. Now, if you are partnered with us here at eXp Realty, we get KB Core for free, which is amazing because KB Core is like eight to nine, ten thousand dollars for a solo agent annually. So, thank you, eXp. And if you're partnered with us, with agent wolfpack and myself we have exclusive internal kb core training that you cannot get anywhere else so today is just a little snippet of it all so i am on kb core the dashboard i'm clicked on lead engine i am on the page here and i have already selected my domain which is my name dot i'm going to start building this page here all right so of course if you are doing a buyer magnet a seller's magnet anything in regards to real estate keep the exp logo here it is for compliance but in this case i'm just doing it for a lead magnet for agents so i'm just going to delete it don't tell anybody i'm going to double click gone all right so in this case what i should have done was first choose the type of lead that i want so or lead template if you will so in this case i always like to use video and lead because i like to put my youtube videos down here now i'm going to make sure i select the lead type because again this is for real estate agents and you have the option to have a light theme or a dark theme i like the dark theme it just looks so much better against this white text here now what i like to do when it comes to creating my kb core landing pages is i like to keep a google spreadsheet to keep track of what the hashtags are going to be the description who this lead is the type of lead and the finished link here when i'm done with this kb core site now in this case i've already created my landing page but in this case i have chosen buyer or free buyer questionnaire as the hashtag because essentially the way that hashtags work in kb core is that you put that term there and when somebody enters in or opts in for the specific lead magnet you will know in the back end where that lead is coming from in this case they're coming from this specific landing page because i have put that hashtag there now we can change the text here for the submit button i usually like to do download now because i'm sharing a canva template and as you can see it translates over to the bottom now this url is basically where you want to put your lead magnet so in this case if you have a pdf what i recommend you to do is to upload it into maybe a dropbox or in this case a google drive and then you want to make sure that the document is public so anyone with a link can download and can view this so in this case for myself instead of doing the gmail or sorry the google drive situation what i opted for was i created my pdf on canva and instead of downloading it as a pdf what i did was i decided to display this pdf as a website here and i typically like to use the classic navigation so let me show you what it looks like 
So in this case, this is a clickable web page per se, and they can click in here, watch the video. I have all these other different social media icons down below that they can click on. And of course, to download the template, they would click the fat yellow button. And this is where you can download my buyer questionnaire template, and that's what it looks like. Alrighty. So let me just click out of that. I'm going to copy this URL cup command C for me and I'm going to go back to the landing page and I'm going to paste that in here. Now we need the YouTube video. So I already have my YouTube channel open here and I need this video here. So I'm going to click on this one. And what is interesting about this is that we are not collecting the URL here. What we are collecting is the YouTube ID and that means everything after this equation. Okay, so let me just select just up to here. So again, everything after that equation, I'm going to right click on this, go back to my landing page and I'm going to paste this in and immediately there you go. That is the YouTube video. Now I keep this toggled off so you can, depending on what type of lead magnet you are doing. So in this case, buyer or sellers, you can have that turned on. In this case, I have it turned off because all I really need is the email. Now, keep in mind when people opt into your lead magnet after they do when they put their email what is going to essentially happen for me in this case when they put the email in the click download now this page here is going to be immediately displayed which is why we put it into this field here all right now we can change out the text now keep in mind again if you double click anything on this page it will delete it and you will not get it back so if i did that gone did that gone now again you would obviously change your text here. In my case, is a buyer questionnaire Canva template. Now, usually what I recommend doing is having a copy or your text copy in a different document. So a Google document, a Notion, or just a Word document so that you have your text in there so you can easily just copy and paste into here. Now, Let's say I changed all the copy on the page here and I'm happy with that. Now we are going to be changing the background. Okay. So remember, we've already downloaded the smart mockup that we made with Canva, but now what we need to do in this case is to host that image. Now I use what is called Imgur, Imgur, which is a photo hosting platform. Now what you do need to do is create a login click create an account so in this case i just use google to quickly create an account it's very simple very straightforward to do now typically when you open up your account you may be on this kind of dashboard here and what you would do is click on your profile go to images and this is where you're going to see all your photos now it's very simple all you do is add images you can browse your computer here click enter and as you can see here it immediately drags in and posts that image. Now, what I'm going to do is click on that image and what we want is the direct link. So copy that, go back into your custom landing page. Now, I'm gonna make sure that I am out of the way because when we click on the background tab here, we have to go all the way to the bottom custom background, which is here, if you can see that. Then we are gonna be pasting in that URL link that we used save URL and immediately it changes the background. At this point, what you want to make sure is that you double, triple check all of the information on here. And when you're ready, you want to hit the save button. And what this is basically telling you is that after you click save, you cannot go back and make any changes and then press OK. And when you do, this is what it is going to look like. And again, they can put in their email information, click download. Now at this point, what I would do is one, take this link and paste it into your spreadsheet that you have here. And then what I would do is open up Bitly, which is a link shortening platform. I use the free version. You would just paste that link into here. I gotta make sure I save that. <laughs> Take this link and paste it into here. And then what you can do is customize the back end of this URL. So in this case, I would do buyer questionnaire uh, template. And then all you would have to do is create and then you would have that specific link and then you can share it to your social media channels. So that is pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Share the tutorial with your other KV Core real estate friends. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe because you know I got the vibes. And apparently this is what the YouTube algorithm wants you to watch next. So if you're ready, three, two, one.